a fan of real-time strategy RPGs, RPGs in general, or even fans of games like Ashes of the Gods and Morrowind and Skyrim, then I have a, a review today that just might be up your alley. My name is Matt from CoreGamersInc.com with our review for Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire on the PC. I'd like to thank Obsidian for letting me have this game to review, so let's get straight into it and I hope you enjoy it. Throughout my time as a gamer, I've always been fascinated by this RPG genre, and with this game, it was no different. I have to say, I've never played the first uh, game in this series, but I found this game to be, uh, to be uh, quite uh, delightful. Although I have to say, I don't think I missed too much from the first installment, as the story is not really as gripping as the gameplay is. But let's see a little bit about this game and some of the background. As you know, Pillars of Eternity 2 was a Kickstarter way back in 2012. And the release of this game completes a very long journey for the developers and even the fans of the series alike. Now I'm not going to discuss stories or spoilers, I'm only going to give you some components or elements as I call them of the game. Gameplay, graphics, and of course the sound. Now what I can say is this, one of the first things that happens in Pillars of Eternity 2 is you're thrown straight into a combat situation. You have to fight off pirates who are going to overtake your ship. Now, the, the tutorial will do a very good job of explaining the, the combat. The most annoying thing is the pause system, because you'll be trying to click and fight and you realize the game is actually paused. That's something that many fans might enjoy. I personally found it to be kind of annoying because it took away from that moment in the element of battle where you want to go fight, but then you have to realize, oh, it's everything's paused. The point of this is allow you to set up your strategy to make sure each pawn is in place to fight your battles. And it is a pretty interesting system, but personally I found that I like using the real-time uh, battle system without the pawns, which is awesome. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, I, would, uh, I didn't like that certain feature in the game. But you know, if, if that's for you, then you're going to enjoy it nonetheless. Another thing is customization is a very interesting pillar in, well, no pun intended, in Pillars of Eternity 2. You can customize your character in so many different ways, and the decisions you make from setting up your character will also have an effect in the world around you. Another thing that I enjoyed about this game is the fact that there wasn't a need for grinding. You can level up just by walking around and talking to NPCs, sneaking in various different methods. In some games, you have to literally grind. Destiny 2, you have to grind to level up. In, in Dark Souls, you must grind. Not in this game. And it was pretty fun. I have to say that I enjoyed the part where I could just play the game, have fun without having to go and fight boss and boss and fight these little peon enemies just to level up to the next level. The exploring is another wonderful aspect of the game. And actually, it's something I liked more so than the combat because you really never found yourself wondering oh, okay I've been here I've been here the world is so huge there's actually something new at turn at the turn of every corner and I like the fact that I don't have to physically walk um, that I can just select a place on the map I click it and my characters will automatically go there without me having to really control them you can sit back and relax as your characters get there and along the way there's many things to go and discover you might have to go through a forest you might have to fight various enemies and it's pretty interesting that this type of feature was put into this game because it's a huge world and you don't always have to play the main story there's other things that you can deviate from and have a lot of fun as well so it's it's definitely a good system that works and I really enjoyed the gameplay. Now another feature that I thought was pretty cool was the ability to open up the map, find a location, point to it, and then your characters can walk there without having to um, just trudge across the game world kind of, uh, uh, you know, without any direction. You can go to your map, if there's a dark area, click on it, and you're able to go and discover that area, and that was pretty awesome. I call it the lazy option because that's what I use most in the game. Also, if you are a looter and lover of treasure, this game has troves of looting items to make your character better. Kill an, kill an enemy, then you'll have some items to take off their bodies. It's pretty cool, but after a while, though, the gameplay does become a bit stale and boring, and I found that I was no longer interested in discovering, but trying to complete the plethora of quests that I have, um, that I have collected. It doesn't mean the game is not fun. Like any RPG, there comes a point where you just do too many quests and you'll say, hey, let's go to the main storyline, which you don't have to play right away. You can deviate and explore, <clears throat> explore the world. So, graphically, it's, it's a beautiful looking game. I think this, this game can run on any standard PC. You don't have to have the maximum specs to run the game. That makes it pretty awesome. I actually tested a few things 
I ran it on the bare minimum, on a computer that has the bare minimum, then I ran it on my super gaming PC and I found that it works great on uh, either one. The designs are also really pleasing to the eye and the level designers really had a good detail for for uh, each each certain theme like the water, the boats, the caves, the, the towns, the actual forest, the characters. Everything looked absolutely amazing. I have to say uh, kudos to, to the level designers. They did a fantastic job. And the narrator was pretty awesome. I have to say the voice acting was really outstanding and I enjoyed it. Um, there were a few people, uh, a few characters I should say rather, our NPCs that really had annoying voices, but for the most part I have to say the sound of this game was truly outstanding. Now I enjoyed my time with Pillars of Eternity 2 and I have to say I will go back for more because I want to try some different variations of characters and races and uh, see how different setups play the game. But however, after a few hours of, of playing this game, I had to take a break because you really do get kind of bored with just the continuous quest and exploring. Just come a bit bogged down and get, get stale. Otherwise, there are only a few mechanics that I can say that bug me. Using the guns more often than not didn't hit my enemy and I don't have to change change it up after a battle to use a sword. Swords are fine, but using guns you might uh, run into a bit of a problem. And there were a few little glitches with saves um, and trying to load up my characters even. Sometimes I would load up a game and the my character would not be there, but he'd be walking around, but he'd be missing. So I guess that's all part of the um, of the launch process, but it's nothing too hin too much that's going to hinder hinder the game. I'm giving Pillars of Eternity 2 a 3.9 out of 5. It's a great game, but it does get stagnant and it does get really boring if you play too much of it. And you have to give yourself kind of a break, but this is a must-own game. If you are a Pillars of Eternity veteran, then you will enjoy this game. You'll love it. Remember, I only played, this is my first time playing the series, but I think I will go back and play the first one. So a 3.9 out of 5, mainly because the gameplay just gets, in my opinion, too, too repetitious and too stale. My name is Matt from CoreGamersInc.com, and if you love this review, please make sure you check out our website, CoreGamersInc.com, of course, and click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and the notification bell and sign up on our site because because we can actually want to build a community where we can talk to each other and do sorts of things do podcasts and all that great stuff and basically we we want to be facebook of of, of gaming we have that type of setup on our website where you can actually sign up and you're able to meet other people and discuss gaming it's pretty awesome so check out our website links down below if you're watching this on our website thank you make sure you subscribe to us by now to get all of our latest content Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.